Oh yeah, it's live from last week, episode 31. Let's go! Welcoming my fellow Jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. A quick shameless plug before we go on, just want you to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Anyways, woke up not too long ago to drive the fiance to work this morning with a beautiful view of a red sun in her side mirrors. I'm here at Bayview Village with my mini waiting for my cousin-in-law, Eduave, because we're going to take him on a mini carpool and also take him to the driving range. So let's go pick him up. It's live from last week. It's episode 30. Let's go. Yeah. I'm an avid watcher. What's up? Oh, I do have it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Just when I videotape, <laughs> that's all. Justin, how'd you like your first mini carpool experience, aka golfing, aka doing everything you ever wanted? You know the Holocaust? I think the exact opposite of that. Boo 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 boo. Later, Justin. So after going golfing earlier today, took a quick nap, and now I'm here in downtown Toronto to pick up the fiance after her day shift. But before we wrap it up for the day, I have one quick birthday greeting to Sam Sam. Happy birthday, Samantha. I remember the times when I was younger, playing with you, your brother, and all the cousins over at 52 back in the day. And now you're taking care of a young one at home. Congratulations. Anyway, Sam Sam, hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. And I hope that you have a happy birthday. So definitely last night, I was feeling so tired that when I was watching game six of the NBA Finals, I passed out on the couch. To only find out that this morning, I have to congratulate the Milwaukee Bucks on winning the 2021 NBA Championship. And congrats to the monster, the Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo, for winning the NBA Finals MVP. But anyways, later in the morning, I went off to go to my cousin's place to help babysit their daughter. AKA my niece, Lena. Also, around noontime, I was able to do an Uber Eats pickup for food for our lunch. So I went to a local restaurant in Scarborough called Osmos, picked up the food with my glorious mini, and also saved ourselves on some delivery and tip costs by going to the restaurant itself, picking the food up and delivering it to my cousin's place. And aside from that, before I go in for my first of my two night shifts tonight, I just have a couple of birthday greetings for us today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to one of my beach volleyball friends, Lisa. Happy birthday, Lisa. I remember the first time playing twos with you at a Mr. and Mrs. Ash Bridges tournament a couple years back. And to see the improvements in your play over the past couple of years has been very inspirational. As well as seeing your artistic talents that you display up on Facebook. Anyways, Lisa, I owe you a game next time we're at the beach. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. And I hope that you have a happy birthday. The next birthday greeting I have for the day is from my former roommate, Evan. Happy birthday, roomie. There are just too many memories that I have with you and me over the years that I have been living with you. 
But one of the memories that stands out was when the Hawks won the Stanley Cup that one year. For some reason, I think it was in overtime and all night you were just celebrating like there was no tomorrow. And even though I had to get up early the next morning for a day shift, I let you go on and celebrate because I knew how important that moment was in your life. But yeah, anyways, Rumi, hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. Keep up the good vibes and energy. And I hope that you have a happy birthday. Last but not least, I have a birthday greeting to a person that has influenced my life in a great way. My Manang Ed. Happy birthday, Manang Ed. Ever since I was younger, I would always look up to you in your athletic abilities in running, swimming, and biking, that it had inspired me to take up the triathlon sport and inspired me to complete a lifetime goal of finishing an Ironman triathlon race. But yeah, Manang Ed, hope you're doing well, enjoying your life and retirement at this time. And I hope that you and Manang Meribi are staying safe and healthy. And I'm hoping that you have a happy birthday as well. So guys, last night's night shift was pretty busy, to be honest. So tired, so many call bells. Man, honestly, I don't really feel like I want to go back into work tonight. And that's exactly why I'm here, to debrief myself and go on a shopping spree. So we'll see what kind of junk food I'll buy for breakfast to help me feel a little bit better. So after getting a nice haul of groceries earlier this morning, I'm now on my way to work for my second of my two night shifts. And even though I got a really good sleep post night shift during the day, I'm still a little bit on edge, having a little fuse, mainly because I forgot to edit the live from last week video that is set for release tomorrow morning. So instead of relaxing in between night shifts, I was just too busy editing my video for tomorrow. And it kind of sucks because the fiance went out to the hairdresser earlier today and got this very beautiful haircut and style that unfortunately, since I was too busy and too preoccupied editing my videos today, I didn't give her enough attention or complimented her properly about it. So fiance, just want to apologize to you. And hopefully on our days off, I can take you out to a nice dinner and we can dress up and show off that nice, beautiful haircut of yours. Anyways, I'm off to work now. So hopefully this night shift will be better than last night's. Wish me luck, guys. So earlier today, I brought one of my coworkers on for their very first mini carpool shotgun ride. Hey guys, Candy actually gets to drive, or drive. Candy gets to ride shotgun. Yeah, post night shift shotgun. Starting vacation today. What? <laughs> but yeah, Kennedy, don't know where you're going, but I hope you have fun on your vacation. And yeah, I don't know if you could tell, but my eyes are a little bit bloodshot. The main reason being is that even though I tried, I couldn't get any sleep after my night shift. It's because I was too excited to meet up with a couple of buddies that I made plans with from university. So I'm just in East Scarborough and I'm gonna pick up my buddy Cam Sue. Cam Sue, where are you? Who is that guy? Who is that guy? <laughs> Found him! Hi! <laughs> Let's go visit Roddy and Saga! I have a feeling this will end up in uh, live from last week. Here's some presents! <laughs> Thank you. What's Thank up, you. Ronnie? Come in, man. A... Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, I feel so crushed! Hello! Oh, it's a video! Oh, I'm like, this is, this is Jay Walker POV. I subscribed, so you should too. Yes? Yes, do it. You want to do it. So today, the weather hasn't been cooperating that well. It's a little bit muggy, a little bit rainy, and as you can tell by the sidewalk, it's a little bit wet outside too. But that won't stop us from making a birthday celebration greeting. I want to wish a happy birthday to Danny. Happy birthday, Danny. I remember growing up and being friends with you back at Good Shepherd as well as running into you at the ACC when they were having the World Cup of Hockey here in Toronto. Anyways, Danny, hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. And I hope that you have a happy birthday. But continuing on with the weather, it was just so gloomy outside that I was feeling lazy. And as you guys know, the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo have started. So I just stayed on the couch all day, taking naps here and there, while watching several sporting events, including some Taekwondo, some gymnastics, some badminton, as well as my favorite, beach volleyball. But anyways, back to yesterday, I have a quick visual story to share with you guys. While I was in a rush to pick up a couple of items from No Frills yesterday, this is what happened.
So tell me if you guys think there is anything wrong in this video. So just to recap, I didn't say anything to the customer in front of me. But feel free to leave a comment in the section below to tell me what you guys would have done in that situation. Especially if you were in a rush. But yeah, anyways, I just dropped off the fiance at work for her night shift and I decided to call up work to see who needs a ride home from their day shift. So it looks like we're gonna have a quick mini carpool session with Tyler. <laughs> My guy saved me from the rain again. Yes! Welcome back, Ty. I'm back for another. <laughs> it's Uber again today. Next time, I'm gonna pick him up in a lift. Okay. You ready to let's, see let's what see. Uh, the new thing what is? What we got here? You gotta watch the secret. Oh, did you notice that that was a... Oh, <laughs> oh, what the hell? How'd you open it? Did you push it down? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, that's cool. <laughs> Alright, do you see it at the side? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can see it at the side. Oh, <laughs> all over there, here. Yup. So you'll see Damn, at the side. You change the colors. Yeah. Alright. Changes colors. Oh, that's sick, man. And then if you want to, you can put this. All right, so when you want to play the music, go crazy. Yeah, man. <laughs> Might have some wild uh, guests in the back. <laughs> Those are the new upgrades, yeah, yeah, Ty. Yeah. Damn, I love it. That's what I'm, ta that's what I'm talking about. I thought you were beeping. <laughs> I thought you were beeping at. <laughs> All right, guys. It's just after 7 o'clock in the morning on Sunday morning. I got my breakfast smoothie all ready for the commute. And it's time to be a good fiance and pick up the fiance from work after her night shift. But first, I gotta show off to you guys my new installation on the dashboard. Check out the new dash cam, AKA my Mini Cooper branded phone holder and my old iPhone SE. And it looks like it's all hooked up and set up ready for more mini carpool videos. But yeah, I forgot that today is pick her up and let her drive Sundays where I pick up the fiance from work and let her drive. And now that we got home safely because of the fiance's safe driving skills, I was able to take a quick little nap and get ready for a one random night shift tonight. But before I go in for work tonight, I have one special birthday greeting for today. I just want to wish a happy birthday to one of my old co-workers, Crystal. Happy birthday, Crystal. O tanjo bi omedito gozaimasu. A person that I really miss working with because of her positive and energetic attitude at work, as well as the small Japanese lessons and phrases that she would teach me. Anyways, Crystal, hope you keep up the positive vibes and your enthusiastic energy, and hopefully sometime soon, we can get something planned and finally take you out to that vegan breakfast place that we wanted to do a couple weeks back. So after coming off night shift and going to no frills for groceries, we showered up and got ready to go camping here at Sybil Point Campgrounds on the south end of Lake Simcoe. So after making that hour and a half drive, and having lunch with the family. This is hey. back over there. Yeah, in the water. Oh, I saw your car. Yeah, yeah. Going this way. Yeah. I was running and uh, oh. <laughs> Entertaining my nephew. This is Gabby going in deep. Let's go. Go 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 go. Deep. Good job, Gabby. Did you find anything, Gabby? What'd you find? Anything? Nothing! I'm still taller. One, two, three! All this post night shift, and with it being past two o'clock right now, we're gonna do a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today before I take my post night shift nap. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to Adam. Happy birthday, Adam! A guy that I known through my sister and somebody who I partied with back at Wysik. And hearing aspirations of one day working in a high class restaurant. Anyways, it's been a long time. Hope you're doing well out there, Adam. And I hope that you have a happy birthday. The next birthday greeting I have is from my coworker, Antonia. Happy birthday, Antonia. 
a person that I've been working with for the past couple of years, and a person who tried to convince me to try to keep my old blue mini. But yeah, anyways, Antonia, hope you're doing well. I know you're working tonight, so I hope you have a good shift. And I'm hoping that you have a great birthday today. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this week's episode. So if you've enjoyed what you've watched, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.